But the topic that we will be discussing today is about uh, rational expressions. Our main objective is to apply the laws and translations and simplification of rational expressions. So the main definition of uh, there is what we call a functional expression in which it means it is a quotient of two algebraic expressions. As a special case, a rational expression is a quotient P over Q of two polynomials P and Q, the domain of P over Q consists of all real numbers except those that make the denominator zero. So here is the simplification process. So a common non-zero factor is the numerator and denominator of a quotient may be cancelled. So if we have equations um, a, AD divided by BD, so it is equal to, so you need to just um, segregate them. So A over B times D over D. So we know that D over D, this is equal to one. Therefore, it is equal to A over B times 1. Therefore, our final answer is A over B. So, a rational expression is simplified or reduced to lowest terms. If the numerator and denominator have no common polynomial factors of positive degree and no common integral factors greater than 1. Again, it is as simplified or its goal is to reduce the lowest terms. So, in order to understand this topic, we... Uh, Let's try an example. So first example is uh, we're going to simplify the rational expression. Um, 3x squared minus 5x um, minus 2 divided by x squared minus 4. So in order for this to be reduced into its lowest term is we need to factor out the numerator and also the, the denominator. So we know that if we are going to factor out or to find the factor for 3x squared minus 5x minus 2, we get um, the uh, product of 3x plus 1 times x minus 2. And also for the factor for our denominator, x squared minus 4, this will become uh, x plus 2 and then x minus 2. So since we have um, similar terms from the numerator and then the denominator, we can cancel out x minus 2. So that the remaining um, terms will be 3x plus 1 over x plus 2. So this will be our answer. So in our second equation, uh, we need to simplify the rational expression and 2 minus x minus 3x squared divided by 6x squared minus x minus 2. So our goal here again is to uh, reduce or to find its lowest term. Um, First, uh, from this equation, let us uh, going to rearrange this one into like this. So, we know that in uh, in a standard form, let's start from the high from the highest degree to the lowest degree, lowest degree until the constant. So, we need to um, put the first term would be the highest degree of the of the variable, or with the highest exponent, which is three uh, x squared. So. Uh, and then we factor out or the uh, negative sign or negative one in the outside. So negative three uh, x squared, I mean negative times three x squared plus x minus two, or this is also j just the same with two minus x minus three x squared. So divided by also so copy the six x squared minus x minus two. So uh, now next step is to is to find its factors. So 3x squared minus a uh, plus x minus 2, the factors would be 3x minus 2 times x plus 2. So in order to find a factor, I think yeah, you already know how to factor these kind of expressions. So I suggest to um, recall your, uh, your um, topic or knowledge about the factoring. So, and, and then 6x squared for our um, denominator, 6x squared minus x minus 2, this will become uh, 3x, 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 1. So, there is a similar terms from the upper and the lower. So, we need to cancel out 3x minus 2. So, this will be cancelled. So, the remaining um, terms will be x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. And then, don't forget the sign. So, we have a sign here. So don't forget the sign, so, like this. So our answer would be negative x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. For our um, third equation, 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, third example rather, uh, we're going to simplify the uh, rational expression of x squared plus 8x plus 16 times x minus 5 divided by x squared minus 5x and then x squared minus 16. So in this kind of um, uh, expression, all, uh, there is no need to multiply all the terms or or you are going to use the distributed property that, that you need to multiply what from one term to another term. So, in this um in this um topic, uh, what our goal here is to simplify the uh, expression. So since we are given here uh more than two rational express uh, expressions rather or functions or uh, uh equations. So what we need is just to um factor each uh each equations so for x squared plus 8x plus 16 uh, we know that the factor for for it is uh, x so the, so um, x plus 4 squared and then uh, x minus 5 is we just copy so um, so here is the um, factor for it, x squared plus 8x plus 16. So for our denominator, uh, x squared minus 5x is just a simple factoring. So we need to uh, move out the x to the outside. So here it is. And then uh, remaining would be uh, the x will remain and also the negative 5. So for our x squared minus 16, our factor, this is um, x plus 4 times x plus x minus 4. So again, on uh, this term, so this is the factor 1. So x minus 5 is copy. And then um, the um, x squared minus 5, so here is the factor. And then for x squared minus 16, so here it is. So all we need to do is just um, cancel all the, the like terms from the numerator and then the den denominator. So x plus 4 squared, so we have 2x plus 4 here. So, so the we um we will cancel the uh, the x plus four, and then x minus five also. So, so there is um similarities. So the remaining is um x plus four divided by x times x minus four. Now let's talk about the products, quotients, sum, and difference of rational fractions. So, as stated here, for products, quotients, sum, and difference of rational expressions, you simply follow rules of fractions in lesson 1 in this module and follow simplifications process in this lesson. So, here is our example. First one is we're going to apply the multiplication of the rational fractions. So, our task is to multiply and simplify the rational expressions we, which are... Um, x squared minus 6x plus 9 divided by x squared minus 1 times 2x minus 2 divided by x plus 3. So we need to simplify the these expressions uh, using si simply, uh, I mean, a multiplication. So in this method, what we are going to do is if, the, if we have a multiplication is uh, what is just uh, the basic rule in multiplication like this is to multiply numerator to denom uh, to numerator and then also denominator to denominator. So that is just the basic rule in multiplication and multiplying the rational expression. So here it is. So what, what we need is just multiply x squared. So numerator to numerator. So x squared minus 6x plus 9 times 2x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 1 times x minus 4. So and then after that is we are going, so since we, our goal is again in this topic is to reduce or to find its lowest term or to simplify this kind of expressions. So we know that um, if we're going to find the factors for x squared minus 6x plus 9, this will become, uh, we can get um, uh, the factors or the roots will be x will be equal to positive 3. So if uh, so the, the factor would be um, x minus 3 times x minus 3. So so this is the factor. So um, 2x minus 2, what we need to factor is just the um, coefficient 2. 
So this is factorable. So um, let's put the two outside and then remain it to x minus one. So here it is. And then for our denominator, uh, we know that x squared minus one. This could be factorable also, in which uh, our factor is um, x plus one times x minus one, and then also x minus three. Just copy. So after um, factoring all the expressions that we had in the given problem, is we need now to cancel out the similarities or the like terms from the um, numerator comparing to the denominator. So x minus 3, we have the same um, terms uh, below. So this will be cancelled. And then also for our x minus 1. So then uh, in the numerator, there is a remaining x minus 3 here and also the um, 2 here. So this will be cancelled. So therefore, we have 2 times x minus 3. So here it is. And then for our denominator, x plus 1. So this is the only one left. So our answer for this um, uh, example is a 2 times x minus 3 divided by x plus 1. So for our next example is we are going to use the division. And then our goal is to divide and simplify the rational expressions, which uh, the first expression is x plus 2 divided by 2x minus 3 divided by uh, x squared minus 4 over 2x squared minus 3x. So again, we are going to divide first the these expressions and then simplify them. So in the rules of division, so let's um, refresh or recall the topics in algebra. If we have um, a, a over b, divided by divided by um c over d if you're going so i i um, mean uh, we know that the easiest way or the easiest method to to solve this kind of problem is the method of multiplication so if you're going to uh, convert this kind of equation the division into multiplication is what you need to do is just copy the first expression so a divided by b if you need to change the um the operation from division to multiplication you can do it and then just find its reciprocal so d over c so that is just how to convert the operation from division into uh, multiplication so again just copy the first terms or expressions a divided by b and change the operation but you need the difference is just uh, find a reciprocal or input the reciprocal of this one. So instead of c over d, what you need to do is just multiply to d over c. So the reverse or its reciprocal. So here it is. So copy x plus 2 divided by 2x minus 3, our first expression, times, so we inverted the operation from uh, a division into multiplication, but we revert I mean, we invert or we reverse or find the reciprocal of these terms. Just notice it. So here it is. So the denominator will be our numerator and then the, the denominator will be our, I mean, the, the numerator x squared minus 4 will be our denominator. So here it is. So next step is since we already um, divide this um, equation, so all we need to do now is to is to um, find the simplified form of this problem. So, I, I mean, next step is to um, uh, find the factors for these rational expressions. So, uh, x plus 2, so just copy. So, times, so 2x squared minus 3x. So, if we're going to find the, uh, the factor is just, we need to uh, factor out or in, uh, put the x outside to be to make it. so so yes this is factorable so 2x minus 3 so the factor would be for this 2 uh, 2x squared minus 3x is x times 2x minus 3 so um, divided by 
for our denominator, we have 2x minus 3, yes, so copy. So x squared minus 4, so um, this is x plus 2 times x plus x minus 2. So the, the, the factor for x squared minus 4 is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So if we're going to simplify this kind of um, factored form for our uh, from the given, so x my x plus two will be cancelled, and then also two two x minus three will be cancelled also. So the remaining would be x and then divided by x minus two. So this is our answer. So in our uh, third uh, expression or example is, we need to uh, perform the operations and simplify. <coughs> Excuse me, 6 divided by x times 3x minus 2 plus 5 over 3x minus 2 minus 2 over x squared. So, what this example is, uh, we there is an application of subtraction and addition. So, uh, if we're going to uh, recall our basic algebra in elementary or even in high school, it was already discussed that. Uh, when you add or uh, divide such fractions, what we need is to find its LCD or the least common denominator. So, if we're going to find the least common denominator in this kind of expressions, we know that the LCD for this one is, or, or the least common denominator is x squared times 3x minus 2. So, so this is the LCD. And then after that is to... So we know that our least common denominator in this kind of um, example, in this uh, expressions is x squared times 3x minus 2. So in order for this to be solved is we need, uh, we just need to multiply our LCD to each term. So uh, if you need to uh, or to know this step by step or the short or the long method, so I, I inserted this one, but I uh, suggest so I'm more preferred in the shortcut method. So all we need to do so so just neglect this one. So all we need to do is just multiply again the LCD to each term. So x squared times 3x minus 2 times 6 over x uh, x times 3x minus 2. So if we have this equation, so uh, let's say so 6 times x squared times 3x minus 2. So this is um, 6, 6, uh, 6x six squared times 3x minus 2 over x times 3x minus 2. So as you can observe here, 3x minus 2 will be cancelled and also the, the, uh, the x. So the remaining would be 6x. So, so this is the 6x. So, for the second term, um, x squared times 3x minus 2, so, so here, let's multiply. So, for sure, the remaining of this one is, uh, we have 5x squared, so that, so that is the answer, 5x squared. So, for the last term, so x squared times 3x minus 2, so the, um, the answer for this one, if you're going to multiply, is, minus 2 times 3x minus 2 and then divided by also by our LCD so just recall the uh, the topics or in this kind of method in just simplification of uh, fractions so overall our answer would be 5x so if we if we're going to simplify so 5x squared so 6x minus 6x will be cancelled so because um, negative 2 times 3x is this is 6x, so 6x minus 6x is 0, and then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So the answer would for our numerator would be the simplest form for this kind of expression is 5x plus 4 divided by x squared times 3x minus 2. So this is already the simplified form.